Simple question. Do you have a phone yet? Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Diablo. The good old developers from Blizzard dropped a closed alpha for their mobile ARPG Diablo Immortal and this closed alpha is focused on Endgame and we're going to check out and break down what Wyatt has to say about it. Now anytime I make a Diablo Immortal video, or I am researching, or I'm looking into it, it is etched into my brain 2018 BlizzCon, and it always gives me a good laugh. And just in case you forget what happened at that BlizzCon, let me refresh your memory. Is there any plans to make this playable on PC, or is this strictly mobile forever? Uh, are there any, uh, yeah, this, this, the current plan is to be on mobile, both uh, Android and iOS. Uh, we don't have any plans at the moment to do uh, PC. Do, do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys that, all have phones. Phone, right? Not to beat a dead horse, but that video just showcases how far Blizzard has fallen, at least from a disconnect from its community but obviously they're trying to reel that in. Okay, right now we're on the website, mmorpg.com. Diablo Immortal Closed Alpha is live for some Android users in Australia. Now, Australia actually normally gets the short end of the stick in a lot of different situations, but when it comes to closed alphas or early access, they are normally up there as the top three. If you guys have fun, <laughs> I haven't even read this. If you guys have phones, you'll be pleased to know that Diablo Immortal Closed Alpha is now live. 2018 memes notwithstanding, the closed beta brings new endgame and PvP systems, plus some expanded content. Here's what to expect. See, that's why I love MMORPG.com. They can take humor. 2018. Man. The closed alpha follows the technical alpha, which took place in December. This closed alpha will be available for a limited number of Android users in Australia, in addition to some press and content creators. Content creators, this YouTube channel is Action RPG. Wyatt, where's my key? I'll, I'll stop making fun. Just send me a key. You know what? I don't live in Australia. Never mind. This closed alpha will actually go on for several weeks. As for what you'll experience, Endgame is a huge focus. This includes the cycle of strife faction-based endgame system. You'll fight as the shadows of the immortals in several PvP and PvE activities. Okay, I don't want to read the rest of this. Right now, what I'm going to do for you is play the four minute, it's actually pretty long, dev update from Wyatt, and then we will discuss it for a few minutes. Enjoy. Our hope hangs upon you, my friend. Hello, everyone. This is Wyatt Chang from the Diablo Immortal team. At the start of this year, we wrapped up our technical alpha and the team was energized and encouraged by the warm reception we received. We are now entering our next phase of development. We'll be introducing some of our end game content for testing while continuing to iterate and improve on existing systems. My crusade continues. To start, Alpha 2 introduces a new class, the Crusader, and we'll be raising the level cap from 45 to 55. Players will continue the main quest storyline through two zones, Mount Zavane, home of the monks, a thousand and one gods strike through me, and the frozen tundra where the scattered barbarian tribes reside. I am Blade and Fury incarnate. Players will also discover a new dungeon, Cavern of Echoes, where a powerful relic is guarded by a giant frozen terror who seeks to keep its power for their own. It seems your journey continues. The next alpha patch also introduces the Cycle of Strife, a social endgame system where players will fight as either the Immortals, who protect and defend Sanctuary, or as the Shadows, who fulfill a sacred duty to keep the Immortals from becoming power-mad or complacent. Here's how the system works. 
all players start out as adventurers, questing for experience and loot. During their journey, they can choose to join the Shadows. Shadows can rise up and challenge the Immortals to become the new Defenders of Sanctuary. There are multiple modes within this system, and one of them is Kion's Ordeal, a 48-person raid exclusive to the Immortals, and it provides unique rewards. The Immortals also have their own special vault, where they stash away their hard-earned spoils and riches. The Shadows are constantly testing the Immortals, and one of the ways in which they do that is by raiding that vault. Feel my wrath! Shadows will attempt to steal the riches within, but they need to be ready to fight if the Immortals come to defend you. You will bleed. You might be wondering, how do the Shadow factions overthrow the Immortals? Shadows can take part in simultaneous 8v8 battles versus the Immortals. And if the Shadows win these battles, the strongest among them will become the next Immortal. This is only a first glimpse at what will be available to those who join the Cycle of Strife. We're hoping this system will be exciting for players who love the thrill of team-based PvP. Let's talk about another endgame system we're calling the Heliquary. The Heliquary features players taking down dangerous bosses. This will not be easy and will require significant preparation. A new boss is unlocked every month for players to challenge, and if players are successful in defeating them, they will earn powerful boosts to their character. Players will also discover a litany of new legendary items, legendary gems, an additional paragon tree, two extra skills per class, new quests, and more bounties. We have so much planned for our next alpha phase, and we can't wait for more people to get their hands on Diablo Immortal. We want to thank everyone for their support. If you're not able to join us during this limited testing period, we'll be coming for you later. The team can't wait until you can all join us in Westmarch. Okay, so obviously a lot to break down. And I wanted to start by saying, as much as I rip Blizzard, as much as I make fun of BlizzCon 2018, as much as I poke Wyatt, I do plan on playing this game. It's still a Diablo game, it's mobile, which means if it's fun, I'll be able to play it with my community, and potentially it could be fun. I have no idea, I have never gotten my hands on it, all I have seen is other people play it, and of course, research the game. So I will try it out, and it's going to be free, like I'm sure most people are going to try it out. The question is always, will I stick around? So, we have two endgame systems that I care about, right, that they talked about. The Cycle of Strife and the Heliquary, Hella I think that's how you say it, which is basically what they're saying is, hey, if you want to play one player, you don't want to play with other people, we have an endgame system for you. You could challenge this powerful demon boss once a month. If you love multiplayer and you're going to be playing with friends, which normally mobile games, you do have a lot of multiplayer and people playing together because it's really easy to connect, you have a new 8v8 endgame system. What is it? The Shadows versus the Immortals. And I have to say, I feel like I am very versed on ARPGs. I watched that section three times to make sure I understood it because it's a pretty convoluted and advanced system. Do you want to join the Shadow? Do you want to be the Immortals? The Immortals are defending. The Shadows have to go in and steal. The strongest Shadow, if they steal, become an Immortal. And if the fact is you have to start as a shadow to become an immortal, that would mean that the immortals are stronger and better than the shadows, right? So there's a lot that goes into it, but it looks like fun. And obviously Blizzard are masterful when it comes to cinematics, art, delivering a message. So of course it's supposed to make you excited, and I think they did a good job with the video. Now I'm going to give you my opinion on something. I could be way off. OK, but unfortunately, I don't trust game studios anymore. We've just been burned as a community for burned so much, especially from Blizzard. When they talk about every month we are going to drop a powerful demon boss, 
and it's not going to be easy. And you are going to have to plan to try and take out this boss. Immediately, my alarm started sounding. Okay. Tell me if anybody felt this way. You want to bet if I had money, I would put money down that every month they drop that new boss, that new content that get people excited to go fight it. They are going to drop it microtransaction. Go defeat the new XYZ demon boss. And if you're struggling, buy this booster pack or buy this blah that will help you defeat them. When I see that idea, every month it's going to be a powerful boss that you have to plan for and it's going to be a crazy difficult fight, it's going to be their way to make money. That will be one of the biggest cash crops for Blizzard. It's going to be people are going to need whatever they're going to be selling to defeat that boss. Maybe I'm way off, but that's where my alarms went. Ultimately, I did think it was a good developer update. Talking about endgame, that's what we normally want to hear because we will blast through the campaign. So it's good to see that there's multiplayer content because then I can play with my community and single player content and they are doing a lot of other things. And the game is still only an alpha. So ultimately, Wyatt, nice job today. I thought you did a good job with your presentation and talking about what's coming in the future. All right, everybody, that's the video. Diablo Immortal, I want to know your opinion. Is this a game you are excited for? I have a feeling most people are going to log in, try it, download it, and see if it's worth it. But do you truly feel excited to play this game? Let me know in the comment section below. If you have not joined the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're approaching 900 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together, so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is in the description. And if you want to play some 8v8 and want me on your team, not that I'm any good, another reason to join my Discord. All right, that's all I got. Stay home, stay safe. Do not forget to join the official Action RPG Discord. Aaron, out.